Ladies, 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 I'm here on the show, and we're here, we're here over the first uh, NFL post-game show of the uh, 2024 season. We're going to talk about the first game of the uh, 2024 NFL season uh, tonight with the Kansas City Chiefs and the um, Baltimore Ravens, and oh my god, what an ending, OMG. Uh, the Ravens were down 27-20. They get the ball, uh, have to go 87 yards, about a minute and 30 seconds, about a minute, it's about a minute, 30, 40 seconds. And then they get one deep pass to Rashad Bateman to get it to the 10-yard line. I'm like, OMG, we're going to get a tie game here. And, but then these next two plays, one of them, Zay Flowers. Lamar has Zay Flowers wide open. And Zay Flowers doesn't even make an effort to catch the ball. That was a key, key moment, I thought. Lamar, he had him open. I don't know if it was Lamar just with a bad throw, or if it was just Zay Flowers not making an effort to catch that. If that's a poor effort from catching that, I mean, I shouldn't even say he made an effort to catch it. He didn't even fucking come close. And then um, Isaiah Lockley, oh, man. His toe was out, out of bounds, just barely, on the last play of the game. It's just crazy. And then you got Roquan Smith after the game talking about Peyton Hendershot. He's like, oh, he better watch himself. I'll see him when I see him. Uh, how about you worry about your team winning, buddy? You always get owned by Patrick Mahomes. You're worrying about Peyton Hendershot? Peyton Hendershot? Are you serious? You're worrying about Peyton Hendershot? Ooh, he's so scared. And look. And that's kind of a threat. I mean, you should find him. And look. It just comes off as weak. There was some dumb penalties by the, by the Baltimore Ravens in this game. There was a roughing the passer penalty. Two penalties, late hit out of bounds. Look, don't commit two late hit penalties and screw your team, because there was one key penalty where Mahomes ran. There was a hold, and he's already out of bounds. And you dive at his feet. And it's a late hit. There were multiple unnecessary hits that went on uncalled Mahomes. I know we talk about the Chiefs, refs help the Chiefs, but we gotta talk about the refs. I mean, Roquan. I mean, it's, it's clearly justified by Hendershaw. I mean, don't, don't, don't hit the quarterback out of bounds. It just comes off as weak. Like, he's not scared. <laughs> I, I promise you. Um, but also, um, look, it was just a fun, fun game to watch. Like, it's just that fun, fun game to watch. Uh, the Ravens offensive line, yeah, it didn't look good. Um, Ronnie Stanley had a few illegal formations. Uh, they really struggled to protect Lamar Jackson. He had to run a lot because, you know, the offensive line wasn't really protecting, and he would have to take off and get a bunch of yards. So I thought Lamar did everything he could. And he, he even come up clutching that fourth quarter drive. And I thought he done a really good job, you know, getting getting a good amount of yards at a time. Then launches the deep ball to Bateman, but then Zay Flowers doesn't really make a good effort to catch that ball. And um, likely, I mean, that was a good throw from uh, Lamar. I thought it's just likely he didn't get the toe in bounds. But the offensive line. Uh, it's still going to be kind of concerned with the amount of penalties. I just don't, I don't know. And this is just, you gotta see, if you're a Ravens fan, this is a tough, tough loss. On the road, they ran 24 more plays tonight. They outgained them by about 100 yards. They held a 7 minute and 26 position, 7 minute and 26 second edge in time possession and pushed the turnover battle, and they lost. Just can't believe it. It's Ravens zero to one. Um, but the Chiefs every everything they need at three P. 
I mean, they just have so many weapons. Xavier Worthy looked fantastic in the uh, snaps he got tonight. Two touchdowns. They have Rasheed Rice. He's, he just looks so much faster than he did at SMU. They got good tight ends. A good one, obviously, super, superstar Travis Kelsey. Good backup in Noah Gray. Like, they just have so many weapons offensively. Pacheco. Like, they just beat a talented, tough, and relentless Ravens team. I just don't think this Ravens offense still isn't good enough to beat this Chiefs team in the playoffs. I, I just don't see it. Uh, Lamar Jackson throwing for 273 yards now. He went to it 26 of 41, 273 yards, one touchdown, no interception, 16 attempts uh, rushing for 122 yards. And they only gave up 20 points tonight. And Travis Kelsey had three, only three catches for 34 yards when they, they targeted him what, uh, three or four times and he caught all of them. This Chiefs team is just deep. It's just Xavier Worthy gives them an explosive play angle they didn't have outside Travis Kelsey before. Because they didn't have that outside Travis Kelsey, but now they do. The receivers are too quick. I, I just think of, I don't know. You can't blame the refs tonight. No late hit. Caught out of bounds the first time. There's one that wasn't called. The penalties were 7 to 6. I mean, you just don't make those stupid mistakes. Ravens kind of beat themselves at times, I thought. Just the illegal formations, the late hits out of bounds. I know the. Our narrative is, oh, refs helped the Chiefs, but I felt the Ravens beat themselves tonight. I just, I just don't think this Ravens team, outside of Zay Flowers, a receiver, I just don't think they have enough. I really don't. Because are you really going to trust Rashad Bateman, say, in the playoffs? No. Tight ends, they're good. Isaiah Lockley had a really great game tonight, but they really didn't utilize Mark Andrews. They th had two receptions, 14 yards? Or are they just not going to utilize Mark Andrews? Uh, Isaiah Lockley, nine catches, 111 yards, and a touchdown. Great, great game. So, Lockley's great. But I also want to mention just the seal, six catches, 52 yards. It felt like they used him as the main running back tonight instead of Derrick Hendry. You brought in Derrick Hendry, a big-ass running back. And I know the offensive line didn't play well. They used him 13 times, only 13 rushing attempts. Why did Then why the hell did they bring him in if they're going to only run him 13 times? I guess they don't want to wear him down, but come on. 13 runs, 46 yards, one touchdown for Derrick Hendry. Um... Zay Flowers, six catches, 37 yards. He really didn't do shit tonight. Uh, Rashad Bankman, two catches, 53 yards. Had that big, deep catch at the end of the... Uh, near, um, with about 20, 30 seconds left. Uh, Mark Andrews, we talked about two catches, 14 yards. Justice Hill, six catches, 52 yards. Chiefs would leave him open a lot tonight. And we talked about Isaiah Lockley. Uh, the Ravens dropped to 0-1 here. And... Like, it, it, it happens. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll see how the Ravens look going forward. But I just don't think they can beat the Chiefs in the playoffs. I don't. Besides the interception, we'll talk about Mahomes. Besides that ugly interception, I thought a pretty good game for Mahomes tonight. Uh, Lamar Jackson had an up and down game. Like, there's points where he looked good, points where he looked bad. The offensive line didn't look, look great. But let's, talk, let's talk about Patrick Mahomes, ladies and gentlemen. 20 of 28, 291 yards, one touchdown, one interception. I also had one catch for two yards. An impressive play there by uh, Patrick Mahomes. Oh, look at Patrick Mahomes. I'm sure Chris Collinsworth was glazing all over that. Um, but, yeah, being real, that was a hell of a play. Because if he doesn't get that and the Ravens get it, they get really good field position. But Mahomes saves an interception and pretty much saves the game. Because the Ravens, you know, that toe out of bounds in the last play, game over. And same of having a long field there, they would have had a short field. So that was a great, great play by Mahomes. Over that interception, thought he pretty good, a pretty good game. Proving why he's still the best quarterback in the league. Uh, they really, really weren't effective running the ball tonight. Uh, Pacheco, 15 runs, 45 yards. Uh, three a carry and a touchdown. He had two catches, 33 yards. 
So an okay game from Pacheco. He had a touchdown. Xavier Worthy. One run, 21 yards, one touchdown. That dude is fast. He was the he's the fastest receiver in the NFL for a reason. Honestly, I think he's faster than Tyreek Hill. I mean, he's the fastest in the combine history for a reason. Fre freaking rookie. Fuck the Bills. Of course the Bills. Fuck the Bills. Traded their pick to the fucking Chiefs and the Chiefs get Xavier Worthy. Um, Rasheed Rice, seven catches, earned three yards. He really cooked that um, Ravens defense tonight. Had a bunch of big games. Xavier Worthy, two catches, 47 yards, one touchdown. They left him wide fucking open. I don't know how you leave the fastest receiver in the league wide open. Of course, it was Marlon Humphrey. Dude's washed. Uh, Noah Gray, three catches, 37 yards. Uh, Travis Kelsey, Kelsey, three catches, 34 yards. Pacheco, two catches, 33 yards. Justin Watson, one catch, 25 yards. P. Ryan, one catch, 10 yards. Juju, zero catches, for zero yards. Boom. But they just have so many weapons to go to, man. And I thought their defense uh, played pretty pretty well. Chris Jones had um, a sack, forced a, a strip sack fumble. He's, he's still so good. This is a Chiefs team, man. Harrison Bucker was also 2 of 2 on field goals. Good good uh, fantasy points now for Xavier Worthy and Harrison Bucker for my fantasy team. I mean, yeah, this Chiefs team, Chiefs start off 1 0, 27 20 was your final score. <sighs> Uh, people don't get tired of the Chiefs this year. They might three P. I I mean, I, I just don't see how they don't three P. The Bills traded draft picks that gave the Chiefs Patrick Mahomes and Xavier Worthy. Remember they traded? Like, and people will be like, oh, uh, you're overreacting to reverse and a blind coach for Worthy. But he takes the top off the defense and they, and they use the guys like that to set up Rice and Kelsey. So... And you can say, oh, one-trick ponies don't last long in this league. Yeah, tell that to Tyree Kill when he played for the Chiefs. Tell that to Tyree Kill. And, like, did you not watch him? And Did people not watch him play at Texas? The dude was a beast. Fuck the Bills. Oh, he was all out of the bomb coverage. Yeah, because he did it himself. Xavier Worthy had a great game. Rasheed Rice in season two is going to be good. And wait till Hollywood Brown gets in there. Even with Arizona, he still was solid. But this offense man's going to be stacked. Xavier Worthy in one career game has one less touchdown than Kadarius Tony has in uh, his whole career. It's an interesting stat. Um, yeah, hell of a game. What a crazy ending. And the NFL is a game of inches. This game literally came down to a, an inch. Literally a game of inches. Uh, but yeah, good, good, what a hell of a game. A hell of an inning to the first game of the 2024 season. It's really going to say here tonight. A hell of a game between these two teams. And maybe we'll see them facing the playoffs. Who knows? But the Chiefs are going to have another tough game against the Bengals in week two. So they're going to be in a, it's going to be a hell of a game. Burrow and uh, Mahomes. Uh, but yeah, that's all I gotta say. I'll see you guys tomorrow for uh, the second game of week one with the uh, Packers uh, Eagles to do the post game show for that one. So yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe for more, and until next time, I'll a lot. Peace. I'm excited for this season.